Hey friends, I have just returned from our Disney World trip and I'm in a bit of a post-vacation depression, which always happens to me, but it's 10 times as worse after Disneyland World. But Bradley and I just got home from Trader Joe's, which I was really excited to go to because they have a lot of the Christmas stuff out, which I got some over there. We're not gonna mind my nails, I need a manicure. But I just thought I'd share what we got because you guys have been loving grocery hauls lately and yeah. Bradley? What? Are you indecent? Okay, Bradley's here. He'll join us in a minute, <laughs> but we'll start with produce as usual We got three bags of leafy greens. I got some arugula You guys saw in my what I eat in a day video my favorite lunch, which is like an arugula pasta tomato bowl So I got some of that because I'm gonna have that today We got some baby spinach because I want to make my chicken gnocchi soup, which I've also made in a video I will link that up in the card and then some Champs-Élysées salad mix It's our favorite salad mix and we always buy a bag of that we got three red bell peppers. We like to snack on these. Bradley puts them in a bunch of things. Two avocados. Bradley got some asparagus. Got some celery and shredded carrots, both for my soup and just other things that we make. Oh, Bradley already put the fruit in the fruit bowl. We have some pears, lemons, limes. And then Bradley got a apple pear, which I believe is a Chinese situation of a cross between an apple and a pear. I don't know, but he's really excited to eat that later. They had these new like golden potatoes or whatever. So we picked up two of those, two sweet potatoes and a thing of mushrooms. We got some broccoli. We got some organic dill. I showed you guys in my last um, kind of grocery haul, my dill plant, it's still growing. I grew it from seed. So in the meantime, I'm buying dill from Trader Joe's. Got some radishes to make my radish chips. I got some more of the organic mixed medley cherry tomatoes. I love these. I just realized the window's open, so if you can hear outside, I apologize. Um, but I love these, and I love how colorful they are, and I put cherry tomatoes in literally everything, so those I always use up the entire bag. Got a bag of diced onions. These are my favorite. You guys know that because I love cooking onions, but I hate chopping them. I refuse to do it, so this is a lifesaver. And some bananas. Then we got some strawberries, and instead of raspberries, I wanted to try these golden berries. I have no idea what they are. I don't even know if I've ever heard of them, but they say they're tangy, tropical, and sweet, so I'm excited to try those. And then Bradley got some roasted and salted whole cashews. We normally get the unsalted. Oops. We're tired. I'm indecent. <laughs> Carousel of Progress reference. Then some of the Christmas stuff. I saw this on a friend's Instagram. It is decaffeinated candy cane green tea. I like green tea, but I don't drink caffeine because it makes my anxiety a little so crazy. so much tea though. Can you not be a hater? You have a lot. Go do your hair. So I wanted to try this. I don't have any peppermint tea on hand right now, so that was fun. And look at the cute packaging. That's me. Love it. Then these are my favorite. I do prefer the ones from Sprouts. If you have one of those near you, they have really cute like snowflake pretzel these, but these are just, okay, blowing your nose in my video. We have peppermint pretzel slims. These are really, really good. I love them. And then Bradley wanted to try the candy cane Jojo's, which is just basically like peppermint Oreos. Then last year, which they had again this year, we got this cute trivet for underneath pots and pans when they're hot. And this year they had it in garland form. And I just thought it was super cute. And I'm not sure how much this was. I'll have to look at the receipt, but yeah, I just like how colorful and fun. And I love felt balls. So I bought that. Moving on to some fun new frozen things. Things. We have chocolate lava gnocchi, which I have no idea what this is gonna be. Sweet chocolate gnocchi with molten chocolate core. So that sounds pretty bitchin'. We'll try this at some point, but it's new and it's all the rage, so I wanted to buy a bag before it sold out. This is my favorite. It's the creamy roasted cauliflower and onion dip. It's basically like a spinach dip kind of consistency, but they only have this at Christmas time. I don't understand why, because I would eat this all year round, but I got two of those and I'll probably get a couple more before the end of the year because I love them. Then we got these new mini cheesecake cones. Bradley really likes cheesecake. Um, I'm interested to try these, but yeah, these are all the rage on Instagram as well. And then Bradley got some, is a sword? Yeah, swordfish. He wants to grill it. He saw the Barefoot Contessa making it, and now he wants to try it, so he got that. This is exciting, and I, I don't know. I've had a love-hate relationship with the Trader Joe's Beauty products, and this is a way for me to try more of them, but they're in small sizes. So let's find day one and open it, just to show you what's up. Oh, harder than it looks. Cranberry Cider Shimmer Body Wash. And I have no idea if these things, ooh, they don't really give you a lot in there, do they? <laughs> I don't know if these things are like permanent items or they're just fun things for Christmas, but I'm excited to try them all out. So I don't think I'm gonna like do this as a normal advent calendar. I'm probably just gonna open it all today, um, which maybe I'll put that at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing it. I don't wanna spoil the whole thing if you're not. So uh, I'll tell you when to turn it off, but 
yeah, so that's fun and I got that. It does tell you everything that comes on the back as well. But if you don't know, wanna know which days has what, then I'll tell you when to turn this off. <laughs> then I got some more stick butter cause I used the last of it when I made Halloween cookies. We got some more dish soap, two cans of special cookies cause I'm all out. Some gnocchi for that gnocchi soup I mentioned as well as I need low sodium chicken broth for that. Bradley got some wine, his coastal wine, which this wine is vegan. Oh, you did your hair looking much better. And then some everything bagels. Can I get my apple pear? Yes, you can. <laughs> so that is everything, guys. Um, I will now do an unboxing of this. So turn this off if you don't want to see what's in there. Guys, so I got out a tripod so I could use both my hands. Let me just move all the other crap. But, okay. So we started with day one, which was the cranberry, what is this? Cider Shimmer Body Wash. Very nice. Now let's find day two. This is the all for one number three formula. Oh, it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Well, that probably can't be trusted, but we can try it out. I like the packaging though. <laughs> Let's see, number three is over here. Oh. oh, I've been wanting to try this. This is the Trader Joe's coconut body butter. I don't know why I said Trader Joe's, it's all Trader Joe's, but I've heard a lot of amazing things about this. Oh, and it smells incredible. So I'm so excited to try that. Day number four. I feel so lame. Ooh, winter citrus ultra moisturizing hand cream. Now I've tried one of their hand creams before, the rose one, I believe, and it was a little oily for my taste, but I'll still give it a try. I want to give it a sniff. Ooh, that smells really, really bright and nice. So, okay, that's perfect purse size as well. Day number five. I don't know why I'm going in order. It does, I elbowed the tripod. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going in order. It doesn't matter. Here we have warm vanilla body butter. So probably the same formula as the coconut one. Oh, smells so good. Wow, okay, great. Day number six. Oh, six is a big one. Oh, fun. This is a Trader Joe's peel off charcoal mask. That's super fun. Okay, day number seven. We've been wanting to try this as well. This is the Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion. Very nice. Number eight. Number eight's very tiny. It's hard to get out. This is the Trader Joe's Rose Facial Oil. I've tried this before. It's not my favorite. Maybe I'll try it again um, since I'm much more into oils now, but I'll let you know. Eight, nine. I've been wanting to try this too. This is the brown sugar body scrub. I'm gonna put this in my shower right now and try it later tonight. Number 10. <laughs> the struggle is real. Here we go. Ooh, cute packaging. This is the blueberry and acai facial scrub. I'll show you the packaging. I have tried the full size of this before though and it stung my face. So I don't know if I'm gonna try it again, but it's cute. <laughs> 10, we have two more, 11 down here. I'm just ripping this thing apart now. Ooh, pomegranate moisturizing lip balm. I love lip balms. Ooh, that smells, oh, I'm really excited about that. That smells so good, let me put it on right now. Mmm, that is delightful. Here's what it looks like. So cute. And then the very last one, just, oh. Um, is this a piece of candy? <laughs> oh no, it's an exfoliating sugar cube. It says, while in the shower or bath, crush one cube in your hands, apply to wet skin or entire body. Okay, so that's interesting. And yeah, like I said, everything with the ingredients and everything comes on the back, so it's not a total surprise. So I don't know, I kind of liked that. And I just thought this was super fun. It was $20, which I think was, a, you know, I've been wanting to try more Trader Joe's beauty stuff just to review for you guys. And because the ones that I do love, I love so much. So I thought 20 bucks for this wasn't that bad. I'm excited to try all this and I will keep you updated in future videos, but uh, yeah, that is it guys. I will let you go. If you want more Trader Joe's hauls, I will link it up in the corner. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. It's just my hands talking to you. But I love you and I'll see you later. Bye.